So today I decided to film this makeup tutorial for you. It is using all um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I just received these in the mail the other day, so I was really excited to use them. I ordered a lot of very warm toned colors, so this look is very warm toned, obviously. Uh, so if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. I already have my foundation and my eyebrows done, so I'm going to get right to my eyes and I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going to start off with the color Beaches and Cream, and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm using a big fluffy brush and just blending this into my crease and into my upper crease. Then I'm going to be taking the color Creme Brulee, and I'm going to basically be doing the same thing. This is just a little bit of a darker shade just to add some more shadows. Then I'm going to be taking the color Cocoa Berry. Now this is a darker color and has more red tones in it. And I'm going to take it on a smaller blending brush and concentrate it more onto the crease, building up the color until I like it. Then I'm going to be taking the color Mocha. This is more of a darker brown color, and I'm going to be adding that just to the outer V of my eye and kind of blending it into the crease, making sure that everything is well blended. Next is the color Chickadee, and I absolutely love this color. It's like a yellowy, orangey color, and it warms up any look. So I'm just going to be very lightly taking this on a big, fluffy brush and blending it just in my upper crease. Crease paste is really good when you have dark under eye circles. It really cancels out the purple. So I'm just putting this under my eyes just to correct the purpleiness before I put on my concealer. The concealer that I'm using today is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just putting this everywhere that I want to be highlighted, so in a triangle underneath my eyes, uh, in the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, on the side of my nose, on my chin, and by the sides of my mouth. And I'm just going to be blending this out with a dampened beauty blender. Whenever you put concealer on, you want to make sure that you set it with a powder so it doesn't move or crease throughout the day. I'm going to be setting mine with the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. I'm going to be putting that everywhere that I put the concealer. And I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with my Revlon, Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. On the lower lashes, you're just going to take that same color that you used on the upper uh, lid and you're going to be using the color Cocoa Bear and you're just going to be smoking it out on the lower lash line and then taking the color Chickadee, that yellowish shade, and you're just going to be blending it out. taking whatever eyeliner you feel comfortable using. I'm using the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and just lining your eye and giving it a wing. And this is me being excited that my wing, for once, actually looks good. So before you put eyelashes on, you want to make sure that you put mascara on. I forgot to put mascara on on this eye. So just make sure that before you put your false lashes on, you do put your mascara on. The lashes that I'm using today are the Velour Lashes in Doll Me Up. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced and just putting that on all the areas of my face that I want to be bronzed. For blush, I'm going to be using a NARS blush in the color Luster. I love this highlighter so much. It is the Becca highlighter in the color Opal. I decided to skip a uh, lip liner today and I just went with a lipstick and this is the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy.
today I decided to film this makeup look for you. No. No. Hey. That was bad.